I just don't get it. Why would they call it a whoopee cushion? I mean, when was the last time you or somebody you were around farted like that and then just went whoopee? Ah, it's one of life's great mysteries. Oh well, no matter. Welcome back in there, YouTubers and interwebers from near and far. Rat Pack Ribble back here with you. And today we're going to be doing our e sick review of the Enjoy. This is Enjoy King. This is Enjoy's uh, offering into the disposable e sick world. Uh, this is an e sick alike product, uh, as uh, stated in the other videos. Sig uh, alike is a product that's supposed to emulate a regular cigarette as closely as possible. <clears throat> so we'll do a little unpackaging here first. We've got this great little nifty package. This is uh, just hard uh, hard plastic, and it's uh, flips up just like Zippo. I think uh, you know it's supposed to kind of look like a flame with the uh, with the filter sticking up there. Uh, you open it up. It comes in a uh, in a uh, sealed cellophane. Uh, so you know it's good. Uh, you get a little coupon piece that comes in here with it, and then there's your product right there itself. That's it. That's all there is to it. Now, first and foremost, this product retails, what I just showed you, retails for $7.99. $7.99 for this. Okay? This is... $3.99 tops. This makes it $7.99. All right. Enjoy. Take a lesson. Don't make the packaging so pretty. And, you know, the, the snapback Zippo spring and, and the whole shebang like that. Give me a better product for the money I'm going to spend like that or lower your cost. Okay. I'm going to tell you guys right off the bat. I don't like this product. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's uh, close to emulating a cigarette. You know, you got the regular white. You've got your your uh, multicolor with the with the flex in there to show the uh, to show the filter. Um, one thing that Enjoy does kind of prop out a little bit uh, on their website is that they wanted this to feel closer to a cigarette than a lot of uh, vapor products do and I give them props for that it's it's a good idea to have so what they've done is kind of pushed around you know this this is the actual cartridge piece right here in the filter as, as it usually is on these type of products now what they've done is kind of move the uh, uh, the technology in it up a little bit so what you get if you can see it there is a squishy kind of doughy feeling um, filter piece and I think that's their attempt to kind of make it feel a little bit more like a cigarette you know if you're smoking a cigarette that you know you can squeeze with your fingers and you'll feel especially as you smoke down the cigarette you'll feel that uh, filter start to soften a little bit uh, as it gets saturated and this I think is supposed to emulate that same type of feel I give them props for that, okay? Good try. <clears throat> it's a good idea. I would have preferred that they put their ingenuity and time and money into making a bit of a better product. Um, first off for me, okay, you've got your battery piece. This is all one piece because it is a disposable. You smoke it, you throw it away. Uh, so the battery within the uh, tobacco cylinder uh, and your liquid and your cartridge is uh, sitting in the filter. This is a regular cartridge. Uh, it has the atomizer with the little cotton swab piece in there. Uh, so it's not a tank system. I'm going to see if you guys can see this a little bit. It's got a, a three hole uh, pole on the filter and then a little tip glow on here. Okay, tip glow. <laughs> They kind of put this, uh, the little gray stuff that you see on there, it, it almost feels like like flocking, uh, you know, like spray on snow type of thing uh, that they painted gray. And it's supposed to, look, it actually looks pretty close to, to an ash. And so the light is behind it. Uh, and when you do your pull, it's supposed to look like the cherry is glowing behind, behind it. So, again, 
I give them props for the realism of it. They did great there uh, with the squishiness of the filter and the way the look of the tip and everything. But again, I wish you would have put your time, your money, and your effort into making a better product. Uh, the bells and whistles are nice, but they're not going to do anything for anybody uh, if, if the product isn't worth it. Uh, so as I said, this is an Enjoy King. This is the disposable version. Um, now Enjoy itself, uh, they've got a huge website and everything, and they, they tout themselves to no end. They, they give themselves mad props, they're hype, they list themselves as the number one vapor product in America. I don't know about that. Um, I haven't seen anything that's, that says they are. I also haven't seen anything that says they aren't. After trying this product, I'm more prone to believe that they are not. Uh, the only thing I could think they might be number one in is possibly sales because they offer a huge amount of variations of this product. You have the King, which is the King Disposable. Now, like I said, this thing uh, retails for $7.99 just for this, and don't forget your little, you know, sweet Zippo pack there. Now, you can also buy these things in a five pack at $29.95. That brings it down to about six bucks a piece. A 20 bag, uh, a 20 bag, whoo, yeah, that shows you what kind of history I had. A 20 pack uh, for uh, a Basically, it's $105. It's $104.99. Okay, so now you're coming into the, uh, you know, $5 and what, $5.10 range there. And then you can, believe this or not, you can buy these things in a hundred pack. A hundred, one zero zero pack for four seventy nine ninety nine. dollars you're gonna spend basically 500 bucks on a hundred of these things. Make no mistake, people, these things do have expiration lives, okay? These aren't hermetically sealed, all right? There is going to be uh, oxygen getting into these things. Uh, some of the vapor, you're gonna have a, a little bit of dispersion just from, just from age. So you're gonna lose a little bit in there You've got cotton swabs in here that have the liquid on them. Those are going to start to uh, uh, deteriorate and harden over time and everything. These aren't live forever products. They're disposables, and they're disposables for a reason. So buying a hundred of these things, unless you are chain smoking like crazy, I I'd stay away from that. Okay, uh, the more practical side of this, the vapor which is what we all buy these things for. Okay, don't like it. The taste, uh, I, I don't know if it's me or what it is, and I find myself saying this a lot, uh, and I think it's because I keep trying to compare these things to cigarettes, but the taste on this thing is horrible. Uh, don't really care for it. The vapor is mediocre at best uh, with the amount that you get and everything, uh, which is kind of funny because with that three hole that they've got on there, you should be getting a lot more vapor than you are. But all the technology has gone in, into, you know, making it feel squishy and, and having a good, uh, good ash tip on there where you can see the cherry glowing behind it. You know, all that kind of great illusion of a cigarette, but it takes away from, uh, it takes away from the quality of the product. So I'm not even going to inhale on this one. I'm going to take a long, uh, long, slow drag just so you can see. Okay, after all that pull, that was the vapor that we got out of this thing. I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed, enjoy. It looks pretty, and that's all it is, okay? This is a drunk, stupid girl, all right? Uh, you know, she looks pretty, but then, then you really get to know her, and there's nothing there. It's all illusion, all right? Um, so this is the disposable side of it and I'm gonna tell you guys right now give it a pass it's a horrible product I'm sorry enjoy I know you guys are touting that you're the best uh, in the world there and I'm sorry I just don't see it in the products I wish I did but I don't make your technology better make your construction better don't worry so much about the aesthetics of it 
and lower the price. For God's sake, I'd rather have you give me a little sealed tiny cardboard box that only is big enough to hold that thing and cut that price by four bucks. All right? That's the preference. Okay, uh, like I said, on the Enjoy website, uh, there's tons of different variations of these things. Now, the Kings are the disposables. They also offer what they call their vaping kits. And I'm sorry, I'm looking at my prices here. You have four sets of different types of vaping kits, and it basically goes from beginner to, you know, I've been vaping for years and I want, I want the sweet set, okay? The economy, which is the beginner set, 50 bucks. All right, and this is with a pen, uh, three flavor cartridges. Uh, uh, when I say pen, I mean pen mod battery. Uh, it it is a non disposable. Uh, it comes with the little you know burner button to set off your atomizer, and it comes with a tank and a tip. All right, so you get one of those. You get a little uh, uh, charger, and then a uh, little carrying case and three liquids. Fifty bucks 50 bucks I know huge I smoke and kanger stuff that doesn't cost 50 bucks which is a much better product I can tell you that right now so you get the economy starter set from 50 bucks all the way up to what they call the super vaping kit at 165 and I believe that's uh, uh, two carrying cases two pins like five flavors uh, a couple tanks and tips and two carrying cases so if you want to split the cost, you know, you can you can give it to two different people at you know 80 bucks a piece, $82 a piece. Okay? So that's the vaping pen kits. Now they also sell what they tout as a rechargeable kit. Now the rechargeables are not the pens. They're more like this body, but it's a rechargeable battery. So this will be uh, you know, the cartridge will detach, okay? Once again, cut and cost, trying to make it look pretty, and they've cut their technology. They're snap-on cartridges, no threading, all right? Again, you're going to get into that problem, snapping off if, if you're putting too much pressure on the wrong, uh, wrong area of the tip. There's no threading to, pr to protect that piece right there, so you're going to get some snappage. Look at this. This is, God. Oh, God. Okay. Um, so that's the biggest problem right there. They're, they're snap-on cartridges, which is always horrible. Guys, everybody out there in the industry, use threading. More specifically, if you're going to do Sigalites, use 510 threading because it's interchangeable with everything else out there. It makes for a better product, okay? Um, the recharge kits, they also do four sets of those. Um, the economy starts at 30 bucks, and it goes all the way up to the Super, which is 125. With those, you have your choice of five different types of flavor. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so on the recharge kits, you have five uh, flavor choices on there. And that includes the, uh, uh, the original Bold, the regular, the menthol. Then they've got stuff, I mean, blueberry, uh, single malt scotch one of their new flavors, which, okay, why not? What the hell? Um, and so the economy runs 30 bucks, the super runs 125, and you have your choice of five flavor cartridges, uh, or what they call flavor chambers, that was what it was, uh, that come with it. Again, biggest problem, they're snap-on cartridges. It's a bad choice. It's a bad way that I see a lot of these cheaper um Sigalite product manufacturers leaning. It's, you know, of course, if they're mass producing a product, it's got to be a lot cheaper to do these plastic snap ons instead of metal 510 threading. Okay? Bad choice, people. Keep the money in the threading. It's a better product, it's a more reliable product. All right? If you get into the cheap, you're going to start losing people. At least I hope you do because that's a bad way to go. All right? So, uh, that's pretty much the product. The other thing I want to tap on this is Enjoy itself. I don't like these guys. <laughs> and I know that's horrible. But just from going through their website and everything, I really don't like these people. They really, they love themselves a bit, uh, just a bit too much for my taste. 
uh, yeah, they tout themselves as number one, they're the best, nobody can compare to them. But you do notice that when you go onto their website, the first thing you see is 30 and 40 percent discounts on their products. Okay, if you're doing that fabulous, you don't offer 30 and 40 percent discounts, you offer five and tens. All right, because your products are doing that well, you want to give somebody a little bit of incentive. 30 and 40 percent discounts that tells me, hey, we need to sell shit, buy our stuff. We'll take a quarter off, we'll take a third off, you know, we'll take up to a half off. Just buy our stuff, please, because we're the number one in America. Now, the biggest problem I have with Enjoy, and I promise this will probably be the last little bit of the rant here, their biggest hype is that they are not part of a big tobacco company. Uh, they And their goal is to make combustible cigarettes obsolete. That's direct from their website, okay? They want to get rid of traditional cigarettes. Okay, great. It's a, it's a laudable goal. I say more power to you. You can go with it. But you're trying to get rid of a product by making a product that's supposed to emulate it. But you've never had anything to do with the real product. All right? Anybody out there, have you ever tasted a vegan steak? Okay, need I say more here? You can't make a product unless you, uh, a product that's supposed to emulate something in every way, unless you've had something to do with the original product you're trying to emulate. All right? I don't like that holier than thou crap. It gets under my skin every time, and I hate when people, and especially companies, start touting that like it's, it's the greatest thing in the world. Truth.org, I'm talking to you bastards out there. I can't stand you either. Um, you know, yeah, we're smokers. We're the ultimate evil on the planet, and you should spend billions and billions of dollars in uh, shock advertising just to get rid of us. Yeah, that's that's a good way to spend your time. Okay, that that's it. That's enough of that rant, guys. Um, the enjoy, enjoy. Okay, seven ninety nine. This is what you're getting for seven ninety nine. I'll, I'll even take that back a little bit. This is what you're paying five ninety nine for. Here's your other two bucks. No, it's horrible. Don't touch it. Pass, 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 pass. Uh, and just for their their hubris and their holier than thou attitude, I say give Enjoy a pass completely. Uh, I won't be dealing with these people anymore. I'm sorry, you've lost my business just because of who you are and the shoddy way you go about your marketing. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for me. Uh, as usual, big props out to my boys Bobby and Chris over at Smoky Smoke Shop. Uh, I'll have their um, details um, down in the description below. If you have any questions about tobacco products, about uh, cigars, uh, about smoking products, okay, uh, you want to call in to Smokies and talk to Bobby. If you have any questions whatsoever about vaping mods, uh, the big boys, the batteries, and things like that. You want to get that huge uh, bit of fog rolling out that every every time you take a shot, you want to talk to Chris over at Smokies. The guy builds his own. I know he's working on getting his own website and everything up, and, and we'll definitely tout that when that happens. Um, uh, uh, so give them a shout. They also He also does um, uh, custom-built mods, custom-built coils, everything like that, any product that you need. Uh, he'd be the guy to talk to. So their contact information is in uh, the description below. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today. I'm sorry it was more of a rant than usual, but these guys really got under my skin here. Um, and that's going to do it. Until next time, guys, uh, hopefully we'll start getting into mods here pretty soon. Uh, Chris is working with me on that, and I, I think it'll be pretty good. So until then, guys, uh, you know, take care of yourselves. Be good to each other, and I'll catch you up on the next one. Peace.